Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learn something, go ahead, leave a comment, hit that like, and make sure you ring the bell so you get that notification when I drop a new video. So today, back in Tableau, going to talk about drilling from region uh, into states. So as you can see, um, as I drill down here from my west region, I can take a look at the uh, the states that are underneath, and I'm looking at uh, um, a difference uh, from uh, budget, basically profit versus budgeted profit. As I as I zoom in, actually, as I step over the region here, you can see I've got a uh, top ten filter on my uh, cities within that region that have the highest profit. Go see my previous video if you wanna learn how to filter that, uh, how to do this top 10 effect for your uh, for your region. So I can drill in here to region, and then I can see the constituent states here and get a little um, update on how the, uh, the difference from budget is doing. So uh, shout out to uh, user Jessica K. She was looking at my drill into data with Tableau parameter actions. Uh, video and left a comment. Great video, so helpful. Can you do the same for how to do a drill down when using maps? Region drill down to country level. Thanks. So figured I would uh, uh, put that together, right? So whenever I'm looking for new video ideas, I do read your comments, so feel free to drop a line. Okay, so here's one thing I want to call out. So you'll notice here when I select on a region, notice how the other regions do not gray out, right? I select a region, the other regions don't gray out. I, do, I can double click in obviously to get um, more detail, but when I move between regions, uh, they do not gray out. Now, the default action is when I move between regions, see how the other regions gray out here, right? Uh, just that selected region as highlight. So I'll show you the tip um, that you need to uh, use to keep this from happening if you don't like this effect. Some people like this effect. Uh, if you want to get rid of this effect, uh, you can. And so I'll teach you this technique, right, where uh, we don't gray out our other selections. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see how to do that. So let's get uh, let's get into this. Let's uh, let's build this thing out. So uh, I'm using uh, Tableau uh, Superstore, and let's uh, let's find the state here. And you want to make sure um, where is my region? There we go. So I had it uh, as a hierarchy here, region state. So we want to make sure that our region. I'm going to right click on here. We're going to go to geographic role. Um, if it's not um, uh, labeled as a geographic role, you can create it as a geographic role. So as you see here, geographic role, create from, I can create it from state. So if you don't see the little globe here, right, go ahead and do that, create that uh, from state just in case uh, that isn't done already. Um, I want to make, first thing I want to do here, let's click the state here, right, and then that comes in here. You can come in here to map, so I probably already have this um, I'm going to go to map layers, right? And you see my washouts at 100%. So if I do zero, right, I get all the, you know, the base and the land cover. But put your washout to 0% and that'll get you uh, to this point right here. Um, so now we have uh, dots representing uh, each state. Uh, I'm going to duplicate the latitude here. I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to bring a, another latitude uh, uh, over there and I'm going to change the marks to maps. I'm going to go over here to all and we're going to change that to a map. There we go. We got uh, two United States, right? Um, let's go ahead and uh, create a region parameter. So I already have a parameter created, a region parameter. I'll show you what it looks like. I uh, just call it region parameter. And um, I have um, I have all up here, so I was playing around with some filtering. You don't have to to put all here, but just make sure you got your central, your east, your south, and your west, right? Um, you could you could right click and select and uh, create this from uh, from region, but you can also type in central, east, south, and west if you want to. Again, I had all in here because I was playing around with some filtering options. Um, I don't, you won't uh, you won't need it for this. Uh, for this demonstration, right? So we created that region parameter. Now we're gonna create a calculated field. So called states to show. So this is gonna be the states uh, to show when you select something. So let's go in here and edit it, states to show. 
if my region is equal to region parameter, which is the parameter I just created, then we're going to show the states essentially associated with that region, right? Fairly straightforward, right? When I select on a region, right, it's going to be equal to the, the simple fact of me uh, selecting a region is going to change the region parameter. So I'm only going to show the states associated with that region. So we have that on uh, on states to show. On the top uh, latitude here, I'm going to place the region on detail and take uh, state off. So let's find my region. Let's put that on detail and let's take state off. You'll see I've got some, some boundaries here, right? We always need to, to set boundaries. <laughs> And um, I'm going to put the sum of profit on label and the sum of budget difference on label. So let's go ahead and find the sum of profit. Uh, where is Oh, down here in measures. We're going to find the profit and let's put that on the, the label here in the first area. And I'm going to put the uh, my budget difference on um, difference from uh, no, my uh, my budget percent difference, if you want to take a look at that, I've shown this uh, calculation in other videos um, that you can go check out. But here is my budget percent difference. Take a look at that. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on the label as well. So we have something that looks like this. Uh, again, you can watch my video, Tableau KPI is quick and easy, profit versus budget, to learn about uh, the up and down arrows and how we get these values here. I'm going to place profits on color here, All right? And I already have my, my color selected. That's good if you want to see what my colors are. Um, you know, I've got a, a custom color here that I'm using. If you want to, if you want to use that, that's fine. And then I also have my start at uh, 25,000. I just changed that because um, uh, here, if I don't have that in there and I hit apply, you'll see it's a little bit more gray. So I went ahead and just changed the start. Again, my data set is going to be a little different than the standard Superstore uh, data. So you may not need to make this change. Just showing you that I did change that uh, right there. Um, let's go ahead and um, uh, on the bottom latitude, let's place our states to show the bottom latitude down here. Um, our states to show that we uh, or that I showed you that I created should be up here. I'm going to place that on the uh, detail and remove the uh, default state there. And you'll notice, right, I just have um, this section right here because probably on the drill map, the central was uh, selected. So if I were to, you know, go over here, no, nope, yep, yep. So it, it does change here because I do have a, an action in place. So we need to put a worksheet action. Does it change? All right, I already created the worksheet action. So I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's okay. Let's go up here to worksheet actions. And I created a parameter action. So you can add an action, change parameter, right? That's what you're going to do. I'm just going to go in here and edit this and I'll show you what's up. Um, you'll notice on the, my source sheet is called drill map build select. And my parameter is the region parameter. I'm going to keep the current value and the field that I'm going to change, right? Is, is the region and no aggregations, right? So that is a, a parameter action, uh, right there in, in action. I'm going to create that, say, okay. Right. And so once you do that again, when you select uh, a different region here, you can see, um, you, this is essentially the drill. So we have to bring, we got to bring these two sections of America together, right? Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do, um, um, well, before we do that, yeah, no, let's bring that. Let's bring the dual axis. Let's just do the dual axis right now. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do the dual axis, right? And you'll notice now, right, I can drill in there, right? So we have we have that drill here. So now we're just going to uh, put some extra uh, some some icing on top, right? So we have the <laughs> we have the build. We got the cake. Let's put some icing on top of this. So I have a field called um, uh, where is it? Uh, my budget. It is profitable, right? So I'm going to go here for uh, profitable, and I'm going to put that go down to my states section. I'm going to put profitable on color here. There we go. So now, what I can see when I drill in, right? I can see which states are profitable and which states uh, are not, right? So let's go ahead and um, um, 
let's go ahead and put uh, we're down here on states so I want to put the I want to put my budget or I'm sorry my my profit on the label here there we go um, so that shows up. Do I want to show my my profit? Nope. So so I did not. I do not want to show my profit there. I wanted to show the um, uh, the difference, just the arrow. So that's different uh, percent, different from budget. Is that my? There we go. I just want to see that when I when I drill in again. Go check my other video if you want to see how uh, how we do that. And then I may not want to see the region kind of overlapped on top. So what I can do is I can go back uh, in here and uh, let's go up here. And let's play with the, um, I'm going to go in the color here. Uh, let's change our borders to, to white. I kind of like that effect right here. Let's change our borders to white right there. And then I want it to, uh, on the label, sorry, on the label, let's just do selected. Right, so now it doesn't kind of overlap. See how it goes away, right? Um, so let's let's do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this uh, this placeholder field. So you're going to create a field. Uh, I call it placeholder. So this is the technique you're going to use to uh, to keep the other regions from graying out. Uh, you're going to create a placeholder field. It simply has a value of one, right? It's simply a placeholder. And then you're going to go up here to worksheet. Now let's say you had this this drill on a dashboard, right? So something like this. If you had this on a dashboard, you would go to dashboard uh, actions, right? But we're on a worksheet, so we're going to take this placeholder and let's put it on detail. That's fine. Now let's go in right here. Uh, second time's a charm here. So we're going to worksheet, actions, and then when I go in here, add an action, I want this to be a highlight, uh, select, drill, drill. That's fine. And then selected fields, now placeholder. So you make sure, make sure you put the placeholder on the, uh, on the all marks. And so I'm going to say, okay, so now when I select, see how... Um, my regions do not gray out, right? So that that is your tip. That's your bonus tip right there, uh, to keep uh, keep those regions from uh, from graying out. So right now you really have the drill. I mean, we've got a region here. I can drill in, and then I can see what my states are doing. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do now, uh, just really quick, I'm going to, you know, I like a I like a clean tool tip. So I'm just going to um, cheat a little bit here. And I think, whoops, before I do that, let me put the, the budgeted profit on my tooltip. Uh, budgeted profit, let's put that on the tooltip, right? Now, if I go in here to the tooltip, and again, like I said, I already had this pre-created. Um, do something like this. And you should know how to get your, your fields in here. You just go into insert, and then you select what field you want, right? Type out what you want, and then uh, select insert. Let's preview that. All right, that looks good. Let me go over here. So now, all right. So this looks good uh, for my for my region. I could probably make the region a little bigger, but that's okay. So now I want to change the second one here. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Come over here. Get rid of all that. I already have it. Let's preview. That uh, that looks kind of good. So if I say okay and come in here, oops. So I do need to uh, I do need to change. Uh, so I've got the difference uh, from um, uh, from budget. I need to put in the uh, the profit and the budgeted profit, right? So um, all I have to do is just take the uh, let's take the profit. Well, I can put the budgeted profit in here, and then I could take the profit and put it in here as well. So now here I'm gonna. Try this again, one more time, preview. There we go, that looks a lot better. Now when I go in the state, there we go, I have everything I need. So um, last but not least, you can go up here to all, and uh, I like to change the border a little bit. So I'm gonna go up here and change the border to white. Yeah, you get all this little formatting. It's little things that, that make a difference. And so here you go, we have a drill. So there's our region. Those are values uh, for that region, and then I can drill in. And I can take a look and see uh, what, uh, what my difference from budget is. I got a nice clean tool tip. Uh, I come over here to my region. I can see it's a central region, and again, I get those those values for the region. And then when I drill in, right, I get uh, the uh, the difference from budget for my constituent states there. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Uh, you learned how to uh, drill in from region to state.
using a parameter action. You also uh, learn how to use a placeholder to keep your other regions from, uh, from graying out on selection. So hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.